Well, good morning, South County Community Church. It is great to speak with you, and it was wonderful to worship with you, whether online or in person. This past Sunday, as we went through Nehemiah chapter 9, and we heard there that the big idea was to revere God and repent of sin. Revere God and repent of sin. And what that looked like was for the, the Israelites in 445 BC Jerusalem. Now that the wall had been finished, their hearts are now being mended. It looked like first blessing God, celebrating him as the creator, the covenant maker and keeper, the one who is powerful, compassionate, and present. What difference might it make this week to have a high and holy view of God in your life? And then second, we are invited to confess sin specifically and honestly. We are reminded in the Old Testament of the previous generations of Israelites who had set up a golden calf and worshipped that which their hands had made, and in so doing were becoming like what they were beholding. I invite you to consider, where might you specifically be rebelling against the good statutes and true and righteous commands of God, which are actually for our good? And what are the golden calves in your life and my life? What are the things that we look to to deliver us instead of worshiping and praising God himself? Let's confess those to the Lord and then know that he is faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us of all unrighteousness as we celebrate his mercy. See, according to Nehemiah 9, the great hinge point, the great hope of the Jews at that time and for us now is nevertheless in the great mercies of God We are offered forgiveness of our sin, a new record of righteousness, and reconciled relationship to the wonderful high and holy God who made us. And so what might it look like first, if you haven't yet personally received Christ Jesus, to to speak with me or an elder in the congregation about celebrating and receiving that grace? And then how might that saving grace be worked out in your life as you celebrate that grace by confessing sin in a regular, ongoing way, and the pattern of repentance. This desire and pursuit to put sin to death by acknowledging over and over our need for Christ, to not only save us, but to change us, conform us to his image. And that's where we leave off. We cry out for help. We cry out for help to the God who not only rebuilt the walls, but gave his son to live, die, and eventually rise on our behalf. And so we cry out to the God who has worked salvation in us and now wants us to work sanctification or ongoing conformity out to his glory by his help and his spirit in us. See, if the spirit of him who raised Christ Jesus from the dead now dwells in us, then he who raised Christ Jesus from the dead will also give life to our mortal bodies through his spirit that lives in us. Because we have this hope in Christ Jesus to save us, we know that we have the presence of God in the spirit to now sanctify and change us. So where might God this week be inviting you to participate in that sanctification work, that ongoing conformity to the character and likeness of Christ Jesus? And how will you seek to follow and participate in that? By crying out to God for help and then speaking and living with our church community and your small groups and discipleship groups to help you with that. It's been a wonderful time to consider Nehemiah 9, revere God, repent of sin, and I can't wait to be together again. Hope you guys have a great rest of your week and can't wait to talk talk more soon.